Hey there, say hi. Say hi. Hello, everybody. It's been an, uh, it's a few days after, um, I believe today's Friday, so it's a few days since I my well issue began. And we've been having such horrible storms, um, tornadoes, hail, you name it, just really bad storms all week. So I've been really having a hard time getting back to this, plus all the other stuff I've been dealing with this week. So, sorry, I've just been having trouble getting any anything published this week. But I wanted to get this done and give you an before ending the video, giving you an update of what happened. Well, Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, a friend I met on Facebook who had come out here camping, her husband's an electrician, and they swung by my place before heading home. And I live even farther north than where they went camping. So it was, though I'm only an hour from a freeway, so that was good. Straight shot for them. But... He, he's an electrician. He was not, but he's fixed their well, but he's not a well repair guy. But he was able to figure out that I do have electricity. Everything was getting electricity. But of course he could only test above ground stuff. Um, and so, but he was able to determine that. But there's a box above the pump. And let me show you that. Okay, this was originally above my pump. See, and this is where the well, the piping, this is the actual well that goes down there um, that's actually pumping the water out. And when he was testing this original box, um, let's see, there shouldn't, there's no... He was touching this area and a bunch of sparks flew. And that caught his attention. And he thought that maybe he had tripped the um, circuit breaker. But he hadn't. What he discovered is under this box was a reset button. Now, because my well is 420 feet deep, um, I got a pretty powerful system, you know, that so that it can pump the water up. For a home well, it's pretty powerful. So, he had hit the restart button, which I did not even know exists. But when he hit the restart button, well, the first time, sparks flew. The second time, everything came on. Um, and it... it on my original box, it's a red button, and it's blatantly, I mean, I found it just filling um, under there without even looking. But um, when he pushed it a second time, everything came on. And we tested. There was water in the house, water outside. The water was on. So they left. And... I was able to take a shower that night. I was able to get a lot of, you know, things done before another thunderstorm hit. Um, but in the meantime, I started, you know, I've lived here a decade and didn't even know the restart button existed. It had never flipped before. So I went on a Facebook group, a homesteading one that was really big. I'm talking huge. So I knew the chances of there being somebody in that group that's a well expert was pretty good. So I asked for one. And I started sharing everything and telling what was going on, etc. And, you know, this continued on through Monday. And then... Approximately 24 hours after we'd gotten the well started the first time, it shut down again. Went to turn water on. I went into the kitchen to wash dishes and had no water. That's what happened. 
So I came out here and hit the restart button again and everything started working. So I reported that on that thread asking for help. And I made a lot of trips out here taking photos of everything. Try, you know, so this guy who was in another state um, could help me some. And he gave me, he finally gave me some advice on what he thought I should do. But in the meantime, and I'm glad he had, he started yelling at me as in typing all caps. This is all on a Facebook post to turn the circuit, to cut the power. So I came out and turned the circuit breakers off. And I'm glad I did just because at, around the time I turned the circuit breakers, it was just starting to rain and the storm that came caused multiple power surges. So who knows what that could have done if I'd had electricity to the well. Didn't bother anything in the house. I had started turning off everything electronic. I mean, everything except a ceiling fan and a light I turned off and had the flashlight ne next to me because the power just was, didn't have a blackout, but I had a lot of power surges. The storms had just been horrible this week. I mean, dangerous, damaging. I haven't had damage, but a lot of people have had damaging storms. So, he had, this guy in the Facebook group, this well expert, had made a, several suggestions. And it was clear from everything that the electrician had found and what I was showing him that there was something wrong with that box. Now, this Facebook guy thought maybe the starter might be failing on me and suggested I start by replacing that and clean some things up. Well, I started thinking about it, came out here and looked at everything. But there are two issues. One is we didn't know for sure. You know, was it really the starter or was it something else? And number two... There's no stores near me that sell these parts. It was either going to be a good, healthy drive to get to a store that actually sold parts, or I'd have to do it on Amazon. And who knows how many weeks it would take for an uh, Amazon part to get here. And we didn't even know if it was correct or not. Now, I, I, money is super tight. Don't really have the money to pay the bill. Not sure what I'm going to do. Um, obviously planning on this horrible bill coming. But I finally called a guy locally. I'd been hoping that it was something that I could handle myself, but replacing parts that may or may not be the issue, that may be costing me more money in the long time, and I really don't know what I'm doing, I decided to just call the well guy. Thankfully, I mean, he charges 150 an hour, ouch. But he said that he had a crew literally across, you know, right across the street from me. And I'm not sure which street he meant. Um, it, but it was a within a, guessing within a few miles from me. So he sent, he was able to get hold of them. And they, it honestly, it wasn't that long before they showed up. And they spent maybe 30 minutes at my place. It was very, sh definitely less than ha an hour. But they quickly, you know, because I had already narrowed it down to this one box um, and everything had already been, you know, the cover to the box was, all, I mean, everything was already exposed. So they didn't even have to unscrew anything to get to the equipment. They were able to figure out really, really fast that that box has a short. The, he said the capacitors might be failing because he saw a spark when he put his electric testing equipment on it there was a spark coming off the capacitors so he didn't know if the capacitors were going or not but he knew there was a short somewhere in that box so the decision was to replace the box he said it could be that it keeps working and there's never any you know the issue isn't, doesn't, it's not, it, it, that it doesn't need to keep restarting, or he said I could go 24 hours again and have to hit the restart button again anyway. So no sense in paying a second bill to come out here. I just had them replace a $150 part.
Not sure where the money's coming from, but I need water, you know. Anybody want a goat? I'm selling goats. If you want to buy a goat and you're in Texas, let me know. Um, I could use the money. But they replaced it. They replaced that part real quickly and were on their way. And I've had no more problems since with the well. So that is solved. So I just wanted to share that with you. So... To close, if you decide that you want, that your best option is to have a well installed, try to learn as much from the well guys as you can. Go on um, YouTube and watch any um, videos on well repair that you can find. Educate yourself as much as possible. When I first came here, one of the major issues, and this is the number one issue I come across constantly, is in these um, electrodes here. See the white part thingy? I'm not going to touch it because I'd get shocked. Um, ants can get in there. And a single ant will get in there, get fried, and shut your water off. So, how do you fix that? You turn the power off. You get one of these. And you clean. I've had to do that so many times it's not even funny. Um, the last time I had a well guy out here with major problems, they replaced that. That was not the issue I called them out for. It was an, actually turned out to be a different problem. But while they were here, they could tell that my tank was failing um i don't know if it was failing yet or on the verge of it i don't know they just they installed a new one so that's only about a year or two old a couple years old at most um there's a lot you know there's some things you can do well repairs you can do on your own and some you've got to call somebody with knowledge to help you fix um so the more you can learn and repair yourself the better even if you're somebody like me who doesn't have the skills to do this kind of stuff there's a lot you can do yourself so if you decide you wanna you're gonna go for a well try to educate yourself I while these guys were out here I tried to pay attention and if there was anything they were doing that I might learn from for future I tried to try to learn that so that's what's going on with my well. It's working now. Um, when that one was on here, it actually faced out. They had to, I guess that, that core right there, the second guy kept having to pick it up. I think it got short or something. I know they needed more space. It, 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 they needed it longer or something for this new box. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. But... This is what my well looks like. I've seen other wells built a little differently out here. But um, one built very strangely, I thought. But oh well. So, I just wanted to share you my story. And maybe this will help you in some way or an another. But I've got water. So, that's a praise. So, you have a very nice day. And hope everything's going well for you. And I think think maybe the worst of the storms are over i'm not positive i know there's we, we don't have a chance of rain today it's not supposed to rain so i can get some stuff accomplished outside and be safe so thanks for watching and if you found this valuable please hit the like button and i hope you have a wonderful day